Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to import Altium files to KiCad. So I've done a lot of projects in Altium, um, the chessboard, things like that, the macro keyboard. And a lot of you guys want to use it in KiCad, but it's not always compatible. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take these files, convert it into files that you can use in KiCad. So you can have the same design in KiCad and Altium, and I'll show you guys in this video. So if there's something interested, in it, just keep watching and you'll learn how to do it. Enjoy! So to be able to do this, you'll have to install version 6 of KiCad. Version 5 of KiCad does not have this functionality. Um, so if you watch my previous video, I'll show you guys where to install version 6. It's on the KiCad website. So download version 6 and then follow the tutorial further. So the first thing we do is we open KiCad version 6. So just make sure the top left you see KiCad 6. Uh, this does not work with version 5 unfortunately so i just created a project ltm to keycat tutorial so if you open the pcb like this and the schematic double click on it we want our ultim files to be open in this environment so it's quite strange because what you can do in ltm or keycat sorry is file imports and you could normally import the ultim files but when you open a project it does not allow you to do that you have to open the schematic and the PCB separate and not part of the project. So what I mean by that is this is the project layout. As you can see, Altium TK project. So you don't want to open it like this. You want to open your schematic and PCB by itself. And I'll show you guys how to do that now. What you need to understand about KiCad is KiCad's project is your schematic and PCB together, but your schematic and PCB is actually two separate applications in Windows. It's quite strange. So they have two separate applications and combine it into one. So we need to open those applications by itself and not the project. To do that, I normally just go to the search bar and I type in PCB new. Uh, PCB new is the version 5 version. At the bottom here, you'll see PCB editor and that is the version 6 of KiCad. So we open that and it's going to open by itself like this. So it's not part of any project. And now all of a sudden if you go file import you'll see non keycat board files if you click on that you'll see ltm eagle pcad all that stuff now you can import all these files into your keycat so let's try it we go file import non keycat board file and i've got the chessboard that i created in ltm just ready to open um, so we double click on that and we'll start importing I'm quite impressed about the detail that came through. So you can see it gets, there will be some errors. You have just double check it. And then we have to make this a bit bigger, I think. Uh, page setup. We make it a three. There we go. Now you can see maybe even bigger than that. Move this to the center. Page setup. Make it nice and big, a two. And there we go. And what I'm very impressed with is when I push Alt 3 for 3D, my footprints are kind of still there. The board still looks like it did in Altium. And there we go. It's still there with the LEDs, with the read switches, the ESP32. So that is very, very cool. Of course, it's not linked to schematic yet. So in PCB design, your PCB is always linked to a schematic. So we actually have to import the schematic as well and then see if we can link it so we can do a design rule check to make sure everything is still working. Uh, I would advise you guys to double check everything th thoroughly. So this is a free import but sometimes things can go wrong. Like you can see some grounding here already, uh, but at least this gives you a great starting point. So let's look at the schematic. Before we go to schematic, let's just save this board because we open it separately. That means we're gonna save it separately and then later make it a project. So let's just save as, save whatever you want to. Uh, I'll make small chessboard, keycat version, and then save it like that. So just we know where it is. So I'm gonna close this now. So let's open the schematic search sch and you can see schematic editor that's what we want to open to convert it let's open we do the same file import non keycat schematics very easy and then we go back to our chessboard that we want to do and you can see the chessboard was done in different um, sheets like i showed you guys before making different sheets and connecting them and so we're gonna to have to convert every single sheet separately and then make it a big appendix in our project. So let's just start with a voltage regulator. Let's see how it goes. And there we go. You might have to check the footprints again, but it looks pretty good. I'm quite impressed. So now I'm gonna save all the sheets into the KiCad version. I'm gonna save it in the same project file, like going file, 
save as keycad and I'm going to save it in there so then later on we can make one schematic so I'm just going to do that for every single one now so I've got file import non key now I'm going to go to the next there we go I'm going to repeat this until everything is done so now that we saved all the schematics in the format for keycad from Altium doing the import function I'm going to copy all my files that are converted to the project folder of my keycad project so I made Altium to keycad folder project which we had here and here are all the schematics and the PCB that are converted so all I'm going to do is copy it you want to copy it over because all your files have to be in the same folder it's just easier to point to the correct place and then we do that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rename it because the names are important um, so I'm just rename copy read this you'll see it actually disappeared here it shows what's inside and I'm just gonna rename it now that we have all our schematics in our folder um, I would advise to go step by step because you're doing conversion there's some files and some stuff that might not be perfect the way you want it so do it step by step to make sure that you understand what the schematic actually is for so if we open the main schematic you can see let's start fresh I would first create a sheet, uh, a rocky sheet, uh, let's say for the LEDs. Then I would open my LED string schematic. That's already open, it seems. Yes. And I would just copy this, double click and save. Make it a nice big sheet. And now it is saved in our sheet. So if I double click on this, then you'll get the schematic. Uh, if you guys haven't done Iraqi sheets, just go watch the previous video. I explain how they are connected to each other. Um, but what you'll notice now is if I want to add a pin to my sheet, it says there's no labels found. That's because when Altium did the port conversion to KiCad, it made these global variables and not the port variables so to fix that we will have to make use of this symbol import not this one this one add label and we call this LED plus so you will have to redo it for all of them at least you wouldn't have to redo the schematic and then we'll see if I do that save and I go one up now it will be a nah, not that this button and now I've got LED plus there so just double check that's why I do sheet for sheet and then you'll see another thing you have to be careful for is annotation d1 d2 d3 is not done yet and if I look at my PCB it's already there so please be careful that this has to match your schematic it has to match this so go through step by step so you can also go tools annotate and annotate maybe not the entire sheet but the selection so if I only select the LEDs for example I can control what they will become annotate so this is not D1, D2, D3 uh, this is very important guys this this has to match uh, the thing you're trying to import it has to match this um, I cannot stress that enough otherwise if you do annotate yourself you just go tools annotate and you just annotate the entire schematic you might get lucky but now you'll see it made d22 to d23 and you would see nothing had happened because we forgot one important thing these are footprints and once i import it from altium i don't have any footprints associated with these and these on right so i need to make it ws218b and you can see we don't have a footprint for this. So now I have to recreate this footprint that I did in Altium and redo it. So when you do the import, import, just check that the footprint is matching this. I don't have a footprint, so it's not going to do anything. So let's try one more. Let's try adding the ESP32 schematic. We're going to add another sheet. ESP32. ESP32. Double click on it and now I'm going to open it in a separate thing. Control A, copy, 
paste save always save and now you'll see again these are global and they're not their normal sheets so they're not this normal uh, hierarchical label properties so it's important that we have to use that to use the sheets but also check the annotation uh, if I double click on it you're gonna have to redo the footprints um, so let's see if we've got CP2104 so we're gonna have to install all that libraries again or remake it I think we do have an ESP footprint let's just check so this is still the new KiCad and I don't have all the libraries uh, updated yet so that's why we're having so much trouble but there's ESP32 so now you guys just have to like I did for the ESP32 giving it footprint you have to make sure that all of them have different footprints so for resistor 0603 you see it wants to use the Altium footprint but we don't have Altium so 0603 and solder okay so you can add it through every single one um, again guys open the PCB like that is U9 and make sure that this is U9 or what you have to do is just unannotate all your old schematic otherwise you'll have to make this something else and just let KiCad try to do it themselves but I would not do that I would rather just check U9 I want the ESP uh, let's make our schematic also U9 uh, it might take a lot of work but it will save you a lot of time for debugging in the future so remember your schematic and PCB has to link so just keep adding them one by one add your sheet and then uh, read switches this is a big project so it should not be so much effort if you just do a normal one sheet project but this was a bit of a bigger one and then we just open it last time I want to show you copy paste change the sheet size you can even make it bigger whatever you want to and then you have to check okay what's my foot my annotation are these global variables so and then again make sure this r1 is matching with not altium but my pc design so here's r1 so make sure it matches guys it's going to take a lot of focus but you'll save a lot of time because the routing is already done and that's it guys so we took a altium schematic pcb and converted it into keycat it's a bit not complicated but you really have to focus on what you're taking over did it convert properly have a look at the footprints have a look at the annotation on the numbering and just make sure there's nothing else that went wrong um, so take it sheet by sheet take it schematic by schematic i know this chess example is a bit complicated because i've got so many different sheets your project might only be one sheet which might be a bit easier just to annotate um, but just focus if you need any help if you get stuck please join the discord below and I'll try to help you where I can. Um, remember, this is for KeyCat version 6. I cannot seem to find for version 5. Um, that's it. So now you can take all our LTM projects and use it in KeyCat. It will require some work from your side, especially on the footprint side, annotation side. And if there's any issues, let me know. Have a good day further, guys. Bye.